on the channel, Turtle Anxiety is crushed again with Mondo Gecko and Kerma. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Cartoon Ninja Turtle unboxing and review via NECA. And yes, today we're taking a look at Mondo Gecko and Kerma. And these two went up for pre-order on NECA Online, that's where I grabbed them from. Of course, one of those things where you feel like, hey, I'm going to order them online, I'm going to get them before the stores, NECA's giving us all a solid. Well, not really, because the very next day, found this muck man there out at my local toy stores. Target stores, I should say. And I tried to cancel my orders with NECA online because I didn't want to pay the extra upcharge. Didn't want to pay the shipping. Well, as we all know, NECA does not answer emails. They do not allow you to cancel. So you take the good, you take the bad, uh, and then you had the facts of life. I guess we'll go we'll go with that answer today. But happy to have Mondo Gecko in. A bit of a two-pack. Like I said, he does come with Kerba. And we'll get into it. We're going to do this review like we do all of our other reviews. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll do a little comparison to his friend Michelangelo for size differences, and we'll see where it goes from there. But let's take a look at the packaging first off. So we're accustomed to the packaging on these figures by now. We've had it many times before, the Muck Man, of course. We've had uh, a lot of different figures in the single-carded packs, and then, of course, the double-carded packs. It's interesting, usually the, usually the bigger figures are in the single pack, the smaller regular-sized figures are in the two packs there. So Mondo really is one that I felt could have probably went into a two pack, but I guess with the extra accessories and Kerma there, they felt, hey, we can get this into one of these single carded packs. I guess either way is fine. Uh, we do see with these cartoon NECA Ninja Turtles, we're getting more into the deep waters out there. A lot of people don't remember a lot of these characters, myself included. I have the Ninja Turtle DVD set. I need to go back and watch all those episodes because it's getting into the deep waters for me with some of the recent announcements we've had the last few months. But I do remember Mondo Gecko and I do remember Kerma from my time watching. And I don't think I've watched Turtles in 30 some years probably. Uh, maybe it's not been that long, but pretty close to it at least. So I need to do a refresher course one of these days. I need to get into that DVD and start plowing through them. But that's neither here nor there. But there's the packaging there. Very cool animated graphics look. Yellow, bright yellow packaging. You see this thing a mile away. Interesting at my Target stores, I've seen these on hooks a lot of times. Usually NECA cartoon figures, NECA in general for the most part, usually on the shelves. But they've been hanging this one, so that's interesting there. I guess I don't hate it. It is what it is, just interesting. Uh, we do got the window box like we always have. Very cool product image right there. Big window box showing everything that's included. Uh, a NECA staple at this point, of course. Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles at the very top. A little... Uh, Graphics of the turtle logo right there. Then what's it say here? Shred Mondo Shred, volume number five. So it looks like the old VHS cassette tapes uh, sticking with that same theme. When you put these all together on your shelf, it looks like your VHS library. Pretty cool there. And one thing I should say is NECA figures, I save all my boxes. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fool for that because they're really starting to build up at this point. Uh, we'll have to investigate my attic one of these days. I have a, two huge attics in my house. I think I'm going to start storing some of these boxes up there. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Uh, but there's the other side. Same thing. On the bottom, you got warnings, credits, all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, the back, which we love the back. Got a picture of Kerbin and Mondo Gecko right there. We got a big write-up, and a write-up for both figures. I appreciate that because Mondo Gecko really steals the show in this pack, and that's what everybody remembers. But uh, they do have a write-up for Kerma, so we're going to write read both of those. Got my Turtle Anxiety shirt on. I thought Turtle Anxiety was defeated, but it's been somewhat back in the news, back in my heart with that foot soldier, of course. But uh, Turtle Anxiety, go to Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson, get your very own Turtle Anxiety t-shirt, support the channel, I should say that. But let's read the back here. Let's see what it says here. Plucked from the sewers by the malevolent... Malevolent. Jeez, I can't talk. Mr. X, Mondo Gecko only knew a life of crime. That was until this gnarly skateboarder met his long-lost sewer mate, Michelangelo. Mondo and Mikey soon realized they were born to be best buds and teamed up to thwart Mr. X's villainous venture. Just uh, a beautiful story uh, of, of a bad guy turned good. And uh, we'll compare him to Michelangelo once we get him out of the box and all that fun stuff. 
Uh, Kerma gets a little bit more of a story here. Hailing from the distant planet of the Turtleloids, Kerma was no typical Terrapin, as the sanctity of his beloved utopian city of Shell Rila was terrorized by the treacherous Herman the Horrible. Kerma searched the galaxy for a savior, uh, surmising an earthling could protect his peace-loving people. Kerma brought Ground Chuck, Dirtbag, and the Turtles back to his homeworld to defeat the devious double-headed dragon. Ground Chuck and Dirtbag, I believe, are coming later this fall, so we can really flesh out that scene if we're really interested uh, in doing that. So there you go. Very solid. A lot of accessories with this. A lot of bit, good build-up. Once again, deeper characters. Uh, but I will say this Mondo Gecko, this seems to be the most produced turtle figure in recent memory. This is everywhere in my targets. Uh, it's been popping up online, of course, via NECA. I don't foresee anybody having issues getting this if they truly do want this one. So that is a good thing. Uh, that does stop a little bit of that turtle anxiety. But all right, I'm going to take this off camera. I'm going to get him out of the box, and then we'll talk about it when I return. All right, we're out of the box. I got him out of there. It takes forever with all these twist ties, as you guys know. And I had some loose pieces in there. I guess first thing I will say, be careful opening it. You don't want to lose anything. These little... Uh, well, I don't even know what these things would be called, but they're very minute, very small on the back of the skateboard here on the uh, motorized skateboard. Those came dislodged in my package. I mean, these are so small. If you're not careful opening it and these dislodge from yours, you very easily could lose those. So there's a little warning, a little pro tip out there for you guys. But let's jump into it. We got two figures here, but more, it very feels like a Star Wars review. We do Star Wars reviews on the channel every day. Sometimes figures feel more like an accessory than a figure. And we'll start with Kerma. We'll knock him out first. Kerma feels like an accessory. Uh, no articulation for the most part. Uh, you can't really move his legs at all. There's no leg articulation. Very small creature. Uh, turtle. Turtle creature. Uh, his arms do go up and down. His head does have movement. The mouth does not have movement. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You don't get a whole lot with him there. So, like I said, a little bit more of an accessory. Feels like an R2-D2. Is R2-D2 a figure or is he an accessory? We know he's a droid. Uh, Kerma, we feel he's a turtle. I lean towards more accessory with this one. Just a deluxe accessory, we'll call it. But some good face articulation here. A little bit top-heavy. Uh, or, yeah, I think that's top-heavy. I think that's right. He does have a little bit of a lean to him there, so you got to get your arms just right. He can tip over, but he's pretty easy to pose. Obviously, he's like a statue. But Kerma's there. Uh, good colors on him. I got a little bit of scuffage on the sides, which is unfortunate. Uh, but the two-tone purple works pretty good for him. Uh, he does come with accessories. I believe this bomb accessory is his... I do vaguely remember him holding a bomb, uh, but yeah, that's it. So he holds this one, holds perfectly in his hands, no issues with him holding it, uh, but he does come with that. So that's Kerma for the most part. Some of the other accessories here, what do we got? Uh, those are Mondo Geckos. I'm not sure what this accessory is. So it's a little white cylinder container. I believe it goes to Kerma, but I'm not exactly sure what this is. My memory is not there. Uh, it doesn't show anything about it on the package. So I guess it's a uh, use your own imagination, but I'm sure somebody in the comments can let me know what this is, as I'm sure somebody out there knows. Mondo Gecko, he is the star of the show, of course. He's the one we came here for. He's on the package. Kerma's kind of like a bonus gift here. Uh, but he does come with a sack of money. Obviously, you know, he was a street criminal, and now he's turned good, but here's his money if you want that. He does come with a mini gecko, which is kind of a cool feature there. So you got a mini gecko with him. We got two extra hands. You got an open hand. You got a fisted hand. Uh, he can hold his gun, and then he can uh, skateboard. So you got both of those. So you can do both open hands or mix and match or whatever you want to do. So we do get extra hands with him. I will note that, of course, like most of these NECA cartoon turtles, the first time you take their hands off, you're going to have a lot of paint that will fall out of there. It's just some of that paint scratching and some of that that goes on with NECA. And NECA, I always say, always a dangerous game. You know, you're always scared you're going to break the joints on these figures. It's very unfortunate, but it's a history. We all know that as NECA collectors that have been in the game a while. you got to be careful. We always say heat them up with some water or a hair dryer if you're careful. Uh, I kind of dig in because you guys know I open these right here and I go for it. It's always a dangerous game. I haven't broken anything yet, but the day is coming, I'm sure. Uh, Mono Gecko does have a weapon here, so you do have a gun for him that fits in the, the uh, open hands there for him. So he can put that in there if you want to do that. His main accessory, of course, is the skateboard. Very cool skateboard. I do got a little bit of paint scuffage on one side. 
uh, but it is cool. It does have a peg hole on there, so he can stand on this in your display. Uh, it's a motorized uh, skateboard, of course, you can see. It does actually roll, which is really cool, neat feature. I'm glad they put that in there. So a very good accessory here. And then he does come with a tail packed in the package, very similar to Leatherhead. You have to put the tail on yourself. I'm probably uh, a fool for trying to do it right now. Oh, yeah, this is going to be... Uh, well, actually, it went on easier than I thought because, boy, that hole looked very small, but just a little bit of turns and twists. And Mondo Gecko's got a tail. Look good for him. Good for him. I can't remember. Are geckos one of those lizards where you chop their tail off and they'll grow back? I don't know if that's the case, but I think some of those lizards have that. Yeah, the articulation on the elbows is what always worries me. Oh, I got this one. This one, uh, left arm bended pretty good. This one feels like it might give me some fits. I'm not going to test my luck. I'm not going to break that one. Uh, but Mondo Gecko looking pretty solid here. Uh, a little bit nightmare inducing, I'll be honest. Uh, Mondo Gecko always had the creepy factor. We all have something out there, whatever cartoon, TV show, something that's not necessarily supposed to be creepy that gives you that creepy vibe. And Mondo Gecko always gave me that just creepy vibe. I think he should have stayed a villain, if you ask me. Just very, very creepy. I don't know if it's that little tuff of hair right there in the front of his head, his ponytail, his backwards hat. He looks like trouble. He looks like 80s trouble is what he looks like. One of those gnarly skateboarder dudes. I was one of them back in the 80s. So I know. I know trouble when I see it. I will say... Getting his mouth open was a little difficult. We've seen that in the past with some Ninja Turtle figures. I got my razor blade in there just a little bit to open it and then pushed it with my hand. Be extremely careful getting this mouth open. If you try to do it with your fingers, you're probably going to scratch some paint. And obviously, there's no worse place to scratch paint on a figure than the face. Uh, so be careful. But he has got a bit of an overbite, so it's really hard to get that mouth out. Uh, but I did get that going, so it is open. He does have a mouth that you can close, keep open, whatever you want. I always love that feature there. Nice, bright colors here. I mean, he looks like he stepped right off the cartoon. Red shoes, red and black shoes. Big Sh Chicago Bulls fan, uh, Mondo Gecko, I've heard. Uh, he's got his cool uh, knee pads there, one with a spike, one with a skull. Very good paint here. Uh, purple shorts, uh, the tail we put on, and then he's got the yellow top. We've seen that yellow top before. I believe it was a freebie in one of the Loot Crate packages, if I remember correctly. Uh, and the extra hands we talked about as well, and then we talked a little bit about the head. Uh, but good paint on this one. Like I said, when you do take the hands off, you're going to have some paint flake going on there. Very traditional NECA issue, I guess we'd call it, if that's what it would be. Uh, but besides that, everything else looks pretty good. I don't have any broken joints yet or anything like that. Uh, that worried me a little bit there. I'm going to put him on his skateboard, see how well he plugs in. Uh, a little bit of a work, but he plugs in just fine. So this is how he will be displayed for me. I will display him. Oh, I got a little bit of little green paint on his head, but it does scruff off. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I thought I could get him in there, but I thought he was in, but maybe not. Get him on his skateboard here. I will display him on the skateboard. You got to have a use for this skateboard. It is pretty cool. Maybe his hand's flung out. Maybe the weapon in hand. Uh, not exactly sure, but I'll, I'll figure something out. Maybe this goes. Maybe this goes over the money. Who knows? I just saw that, but... Well, as I'm throwing stuff around. But the Mono Gecko figure is pretty strong. Once again, though, it is a very deep cut. This one is not for everybody. I know there's a lot of core Ninja Turtle collectors out there. I wouldn't call this guy in the core, but people like me that are all in on this line, I'm willing to bet, build out my entire universe. So the more deep cuts, the better. I just hope they continue to be easy to find like this Mondo Gecko. And there's no online shenanigans like we saw with this pack, unfortunately, because I would want to, you know, save as much money as I can on my figures, because if you're saving money on figures, guess what? You can buy more figures. That's a motto I live by. I got to get a deal out there. As you guys know, I hated pay paying $14 to ship this guy when I literally found him two miles away from my house the next day after I ordered him. So I, I love a little bit more clarity on NECA's part, at least uh, for release dates. And if we're going to order on NECA, uh, does this mean they're not going to be in stores for a long time? Something like that would be good, but a very solid pack. Like I said, I don't, I would never call this a two pack. I find Kerma to be more of an accessory than anything, but still pretty cool to have, uh, especially when we get uh, ground Chuck and those guys to fill out that kind of display with those guys. So that's pretty cool there. So another deep cut under the books or over the books or in the books, in the books. But what do you guys think? Did you pick up Mondo Gecko? Did you pre-order him? Are you Is your target swimming in Mondo Geckos? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. We're unboxing stuff every single day, as you guys know. We're going to unbox Muckman as well uh, in a couple of days or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? But he'll be coming to the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. That's why you need to put that notification bell on. 
And then, of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And then Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson, get your very own Turtle Anxiety t-shirt. Uh, you can hunt in these shirts. There's a lot you can do in these shirts. But uh, Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. So for Kerma and Mondo Gecko, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.